In this video, we are going to discuss about history of networking. ARPANET was the first network that was established. ARPANET stands for Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. It was established in early 1960s by the US Department of Defense or DOD as we call it. Initially, it had just four nodes. These four nodes were uh, situated at University of California, Los Angeles, University of California, Santa Barbara, the Stanford Research Institute and University of Utah. So initially these four were connected through wires and on October 29, 1969, the first ever message over a network, over a computer network was exchanged between UCLA and SRI. And you will be interested to know that the first message that was exchanged was actually just one single word that was login. In fact, the network crashed after the user typed LO, but still it is considered to be the first message that was exchanged over any computer network. Now, after this success of exchange of messages between the four nodes, in 1970, a company named Bolt, Baronet and Newman Inc. BBN was also connected to the ARPANET. In 1972, Roy Tomlinson of the same company, he started using email messages. ARPANET expanded to connect DOD with US universities that were carrying out defense related research. So initially, four nodes, then the fifth one that was BBN and then slowly ARPANET started extending so that other universities of the US were also added. So the size of the network started slowly, it started just increasing. So after a couple of years again, University College of London that was in UK and Royal Radar Network which was in Norway that was connected to the ARPANET. So now actually it became a network of networks. How a network of networks? One network was situated in US, another network was situated in UK, another network was situated in Norway. So now this network of networks was established and it was called the internet. That term internet was first coined by Winton Sir, Yogen Dalal and Carl Sunshine of the Stanford University. And these three were also responsible for laying down the rules for communicating over the internet. Those set of rules were called Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, about which we will be discussing later. Now, till now that you can see the universities are all attached through the ARPANET and the internet. But then a need was felt to take this to the masses and Telenet was introduced in 1974. It was the first commercial version of ARPANET or the internet. With this Telenet, the concept of ISP or the internet service provider was introduced. What is an ISP? ISP is nothing but a private company that is responsible for giving you uninterrupted internet service. So a modern day network with the help of obviously ISPs looks something like this. You can see there are lots of client PCs, laptops, then there are firewalls, networks, email, router, everything is connected to create a modern network. But how the modern network came about from Telenet to the present day? It was possible due to the world wide web. In our next video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the world wide web.